Have you ever wondered about the valour and heroism that shaped the Islamic world centuries ago? Indeed, two such heroes, Salahuddin al-Ayyubi and Khalid ibn Walid, tower above the rest. Salahuddin, the liberator of Jerusalem, and Khalid, revered as the sword of Allah, left an indelible mark on history. Their courage, strategic brilliance, and unwavering faith continue to inspire millions across the globe. So, let's turn back the pages of time and delve into the lives of these two extraordinary figures. Born into a world of chaos, Salahuddin al-Ayyubi rose to prominence with his unyielding spirit. From the turbulent landscapes of Tikrit, Iraq, Salahuddin's early years were steeped in the politics and warfare of the 12th century. This son of a Kurdish family, however, was destined for more than the life of a simple soldier. His rise to power was as remarkable as it was swift. Salahuddin's exceptional military prowess, coupled with his diplomatic skills and spiritual devotion, propelled him to the position of Sultan. His rule, however, was challenged by the Crusaders, who sought to establish their dominion over the Holy Land. Undeterred, Salahuddin led his forces with courage and conviction. His strategic brilliance shone during the Battle of Hattin, where he dealt a crushing defeat to the Crusaders. This victory paved the way for the recapture of Jerusalem, a momentous event that echoed through the ages. Salahuddin al-Ayyubi, a man of unwavering determination, left an indelible mark on history. In the annals of Islamic history, Khalid Ibn Walid stands as an unparalleled military tactician. Initially, Khalid was an adversary of Islam, a staunch opponent who didn't shy away from the battlefield. However, the turning point in his life came when he embraced Islam, morphing from a foe into a fervent advocate. His military acumen shone brightly post his conversion. Commanding the Muslim forces in the Battle of Uhud, he displayed remarkable strategic thinking, turning the tide in favor of the Muslims. But it was the Battle of Yarmouk, where his genius truly unfolded. Against overwhelming odds, Khalid orchestrated an awe-inspiring victory, cementing his place as a formidable military leader. His leadership style, strategic brilliance, and unyielding courage have left indelible marks on Islamic history. Khalid ibn Walid, a military genius, etched his name into the pages of history with his strategic prowess. While Salahuddin and Khalid hailed from different eras, their stories intertwine with a common thread of courage and commitment to their faith. Both men were devout Muslims, their faith serving as an unshakable foundation for their actions. Salahuddin, the formidable warrior who led the Islamic world during the Crusades, and Khalid, known as the Sword of Allah for his military prowess, were driven by a deep-seated belief in their cause. Their dedication to Islam was not merely a facet of their personalities, but the very essence of their being. Yet their leadership styles were distinct. Salahuddin was a strategist, a patient and calculating leader, who believed in diplomacy as much as he did in the might of the sword. On the other hand, Khalid was a force of nature on the battlefield, a relentless and fearless warrior whose tactics were as swift as they were decisive. Their challenges, too, were diverse. Salahuddin faced the formidable Crusaders, his adversaries spanning several nations and cultures. Khalid, meanwhile, fought against the Byzantine and Persian empires, his battles a test of endurance and strategy against well-established foes. What can the Islamic world learn from these heroes? Their stories teach us the power of faith, the importance of strategic thinking, and the courage to face adversity head-on. They remind us that heroes are not merely born, but are shaped by their beliefs, their decisions, and their actions. Salahuddin al-Ayyubi and Khalid ibn Walid, two unforgettable heroes, continue to inspire millions with their tales of valor and perseverance.